Hello, guys. So good news. We got some good luck. Uh, I got a two emails today. One told me that Oculus got my headset. Another said my order is processed that I'm going to get a refurbished headset for no charge. In case you're wondering how that happens, um, one, they were nice enough to do it, even though it's out of warranty after that letter I wrote. And two, um, they got something of equal value, so I gave them a riff for a riff, which is, I think, why they're doing it. It wasn't, oh, yeah, you can keep the old one, too, and have this one, because, you know, for all they knew, I could have been faking it or whatever, but, you know, they saw it was in condition that they agreed it needed to be replaced. So I will be getting a refurbished Oculus, probably take three to five business days, I think, after they got mine for it to um, ship. So it might ship next Friday, I'm thinking, and then take a further week to eight or nine days to get to me. So we will hopefully have VR Probably not July, but sometime in August, hopefully. So so that's good news. And um, we were talking as a family about stuff last night. And I apologize. One of you commented that sometimes we get so caught up in the big things we're waiting for the gods to do, we miss all the little things they do. And I realized that. And um, I apologize to them. Because they do do a ton of stuff around here all the time. It's just it's the tiny little things. And we should appreciate those too. But sometimes we're so upset about the big things, and we all need big things right now. We all need big, serious things right now that, you know, we can get upset and not appreciate the tiny things that they're doing. And we should. You know, it's not that they don't care about the big things. It's just those take more time. They're on it. Look, he's promised me he's on it. And he's on it for anyone that works with him. It's just um, we just have to be patient and good and, you know, do the best we can in the meantime. Um. And I also talked to them last night. I said it was kind of funny how Mammon went off the rails. And I said, I know this is going to sound crazy to you, being that you're Mammon. But I said, I think the old man was manipulating you. And he looked at me. And I thought he'd get real offended and mad. And he said, well, that would make sense. I said, you don't even realize it. I said, you'll you'll have a change come over you. And it'll feel so much like your own feelings and so much like your own emotions. I said, you won't realize it until it's too late. And I'm sorry, I'm getting froggy as my allergies. And I said, um, you know, I, I think the old man did something. I don't know what a god would have to do or a demon would have to do. but So he's fine now. And apparently Odin interfered with him too. And Odin was interfering with everything in the house. I thought he, I made the mistake of thinking he was gone. It dropped my guard. In fact, I thought it was Loki that came to me yesterday and told me to drop my guard to all the gods. And thinking back, Loki wouldn't say that ever. And I got, ah, uh -huh. but I thought it was him. And so I dropped my guard and that's how the old man got in. And we have now more, even more in place. It's an insane amount of things in place that he can't get in. And there are certain gods or demons that are like, this is their one job as far as their concern, keeping the old man out and watching. And I just said to be careful because, you know, um, there are times when we're not perfect people. We can't blame everything on Odin. He's not the Norse devil by any means, but in a no offense to Satanists, but you know what I mean. He's not the Norse bad guy. Um, but when he decides he's going to manipulate people, he does it awful well. It'll feel like your own emotions. It'll feel like your own ideas. Um, if you're doing good, if you're like getting involved in, say, Black Lives Matter or a women's abuse shelter or freedom for people or whatever you're doing, you're trying to change the world for the better. He's that little voice in your ear that'll say, what do you care? You're not black. You're not a woman. You, you, it's not your fight. What do you care? They don't even like you. He's the one that'll do stuff like that. He's very manipulative. Um, I've noticed he doesn't like things to go well. I, I don't know how Hugin's Heathen Hearth got charmed into thinking he's one of the good guys, but he's good at that. I've noticed some people think he's, you know, walk on water Jesus. They think he's good and pure and can do no wrong, and they have that blind faith in him. And I'm like, I've dealt with him personally. He's a bastard. I don't like him, and I don't trust him. 
Loki can be a bastard, but Loki's a good guy. That's the difference. Loki's a good guy. He can be mean and snotty and bitchy and absolutely underhanded at times, but Loki, underneath everything else, is a good guy. Odin has no moral compass whatsoever, and that scares the shit out of me, because even the very worst demons I've met thus far, and I'm not trying to talk badly about demons, have had some kind of fucking moral compass where there are things they, they won't do and there are places they won't go. Odin doesn't have that check in place. That's one thing you got to understand when you deal with him. Odin has no checks. And one of you had made a comment that didn't get through because of the content of the comment. And it wasn't anything bad. It was just they were talking about something Odin threatened them with. I said, yeah, you threatened me too. And I said, hey, old man, you guys sleep sometime. I said, even if you kill me, I got all eternity to get back at you. And I got all eternity to think of how I'll do it too. And then I went on with my usual promises of, your suffering's going to be legendary. All the gods I hate you will be begging me to let you go. I will get you. <laughs> I wasn't bluffing either. <laughs> There's something in me that Loki goes, you scare me. I'm like, I'll get you. I'll get you. And my mother taught me that too. She always said, don't get angry, get revenge. <laughs> she did. My mother was like, don't get mad, get revenge. And, you know, I would take her up on it. And the uh, first couple of times I did, she was like, I was kidding. You know what? Go ahead. So <laughs> my mother was like, it. don't get mad. Get revenge. Somebody does something wrong to you, immediately deal with it. You'll be fine. You'll have it all your system. You won't be sitting there for years. So, <laughs> look, he's like, you're scary. Your mom was a scary woman, too. So, he's always the nice ones. <laughs> Asmodeus likes it. I feel Bilal's presence more again because Bilal likes it too. They they like seeing you get mad and pissed off because you should. Um, women especially are taught not to get mad and to be really submissive doormats. You you don't have to do that bullshit. Somebody threatens you, threaten them back. Most people do it as a bluff. Most people do it as a bluff. Now, obviously, if you're dealing with a god or a actual living human being who's being abusive, you can go get help, and you should. There are numbers you can call. There are shelters you can go to. But, you know, the old man is all blah. He is. He has done some nasty things to me. He tried some nasty things last night. But it, it's only, like, it fuels my rage. <laughs> We've reached the point where I have a vendetta. <laughs> And, you know, the others are okay with that. They're they're okay. We don't, I can't emphasize this enough, especially if you're coming from Christianity. You don't have to forgive someone forever. You don't have to permit Odin or any other god to treat you like shit and do it repeatedly and just keep forgiving them and hoping that someday it'll get better. And I was talking to God last night. I said, I, I know maybe you or Jesus would have me forgive him forever. And I got this sense of like, oh, hell no. So... <laughs> Like, no, we didn't make up that role. That was humans, no. Um, And, you know, it's very situational. If you have someone that's, say, a chronic liar, but is not ever really big lies, like they just exaggerate or something, that's one thing. But if you have someone that repeatedly steals from you, then, yeah, kick their ass out of your life. You you don't need that. So, I got, yeah, back here. <laughs> So we're doing pretty good. Um, we got him dealt with. He'll, he'll probably keep coming back throughout my life. I, I expect it. We have stuff in place. Um, and he'll always have allies. He'll always have people on his side because he's he's got a lot of people that think he's walk on water. Jesus, I think I already said that. But he's got people convinced that he's holy, impure, and just. I'm like, he is none of those things. Have you ever read your damn lore? He's like the most evil creature capable of anything up to and including insult, assaulting women to get his way. I, this is a dangerous dude. You do not, you know, you do not want to take his word at anything, which I found out the hard way, but, you know. Um, so, you know, I hope you guys are having a good one and we have him out. So we're going to probably look at some games today. Somebody also mentioned, too, they asked if I love Doki Doki. And I never played that on the channel. I love Doki Doki. I got a bit weird about that on the other channel. I played the whole damn game. And usually you guys notice I will play, like, one installment of a game for you. Even, like, games that are super long because this isn't a gaming channel. 
Um, because I notice that as you keep going on, you keep going on. Unless you're a top tier player, people don't want to see anymore. But they asked me if I ever, you know, if I love that, and I did. And they asked me who I liked, and I couldn't remember anybody's name except for the name I I gave them, so I had to go look it up. Um, and they asked me if I liked FNAF. I guess you could kind of tell. Um, and I would be in an okay place to play it on this channel now. I never did because of how badly the other channel failed. It's so much failed. It's still burning dumpster fire. But someday, maybe, if we have no other games to play, I'll play one of those. We're going to think about stuff today. I don't know what you'll see today. Um, you know, FNAF is pretty, you know, compared to what you have today, it's pretty simple. And no, before anybody else, I didn't pick up the VR version. I, I think it's overblown hype at this point. It's kind of why I had to get away from it. I think it's overblown hype at this point. And people pointed out, you know, it's supposed to be VR and the jump scares are still the 2D jump scares. And, you know, if you're going to pay 30 bucks or so for a game in VR, it better be damn nice jump scares, not just the 2D jump scare on a, a 3D background. And I'm really... I'm beyond having things jump in my face and scream at me. I will throat punch the next thing. And I'm getting Neil back here from Asmodeus. Asmodeus is kind of cutting all the horror games out of my life. I can have whatever I have now because I seem to be okay with those. But I return to because they upset him because they both had satanic elements. And I return those and go cute stuff. And, you know, we'll, we'll go day by day. But we'll probably get some kind of game to you today. Um, thankfully today and tomorrow are the last days I think we're going to have like 90 degree weather for a couple days and I'll go back up into the 90s and no it never used to be this hot this early or this long in the state um they haven't quite declared a drought yet but my lawn is crispy my lawn is crispy it saves me money so I'm not sad it, you know the guy that does my lawn remember how he kept trying to sneak in kept trying to sneak in kept trying to sneak in well you know he kind of shot himself in the foot because he cut it at the exact time to cut it really short right before the mini drought hit so it's still really short so if he had been honest and waited a day or so you know um he probably would have work but um we've discussed it and we said if he's going to keep doing this i'm just going to start a thing where i'm going to put his checks out on the day they're due if he has jumped the gun and came a week early that's too damn bad he'll learn he'll learn eventually so, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.